YouTube, we're back again with another fire tip. In our last video, we broke down how to beat cover three, how to do the deep bomb glitch against cover three, which I'll put in the link in the description below. Make sure you check that out before you check this out. But in today's video, we're breaking down how to bomb cover two. We can call it the deep path glitch, whatever you want to call it, but we're bombing cover two. Like I said, we bombed cover three in the previous video. Now we're doing cover two. So I'm just trying to bring all these tips to the channel to help you guys, whatever defense you may face. So you'll have an answer and you know when you can get a one big uh, big one play touchdown in a game it can just be a huge momentum swing sometimes you struggle on offense you need that one big play to get back into the game or just to get some points on the board so mixing this in a few times and then knowing what defense your opponent is in and what you can do versus it is always very advantageous this is a universal concept that you can kind of do out of any playbook in formation just like the cover three bomb but you need to have the right personnel you need to have the right alignment this works out of trip sets I'm in the Seattle Seahawks playbook for this tip, um, but you can do this out of really any trip set you want. We're gonna go, we're gonna do it over uh, wing slot offset, and we're gonna go out of trips tight end offset. But any trip set, like I said, will work. If you guys want to see more tips like this, more pro player gameplays, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below, hitting that bell so you're notified when I drop all this fire. I got an ebook coming soon; it's on the way. Make sure you're checking out those coaching lessons. Also, I got code LAUNCH at checkout. That's L-A-U-N-C-H if you want 15% off of my coaching sessions or the eBooks. And don't forget to watch me play live on twitch.tv slash davisbrand. I stream every day during the week except Thursdays and then on the weekend as well. If you want to see a pro player play live, it's one of the best ways you can improve. So make sure you guys check out my social medias. All that content down below in the link in the description. Let's get into the video, boys. Alright guys, so in our last video we broke down how to bomb cover 3 over the top. In today's video we're breaking down how to bomb cover 2 over the top. I'm trying to bring all this content to the channel for you guys so when and whatever defense you see, you know how to beat it, you know what you can go to to beat it. And it never hurts to mix in these deep bombs, you know, a couple times a game uh, to really get a big play and take advantage. This can be a big momentum swing, it can really be a one play touchdown, and it can really put you in control of the game. So... Uh, we're in the Seattle Seahawks playbook right now. I really like this playbook this year. Um, there's a couple different formations in here that we can do this out of. So the first um, formation we're going to look at is wing slot offset. The player we're going to come out in is PA double post. We're just going to have the defense in a Tampa 2. And what you need to do now is you need to have no routes on the right side of the field. So we're going we're gonna to block everything on the right side as you can see. And then we're going to streak the slot receiver. So... The deep half from the cover two, they're going to kind of dumb out, and they're going to play the streak. And then the safety on the side with the the safety on the tight end side over here is not going to react. They're going to when there's no routes over there for some reason they dumb down. the it, The deep halves are not that smart, so he's going to kind of dumb out. And the, we need to have no routes here on the tight end side because it's going to dumb out that safety. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and run it. See if we can get some time in the pocket here to throw this. And as you can see, the safety there, he just kind of completely just forgot about the post. He just kind of looks down into the backfield, and we're able to take advantage for a huge play over the top. Let's go ahead and take a look at the replay. I'll show you exactly what I mean with the safety and what he does. Same type of thing worked last year in Madden 20, and I found that it still works the same this year. So as you can see, let's watch the safety. And this is Derwin James, too, I believe, who has high zone. He's a great player. Just just doesn't react he just kind of sits down here boom I don't know he's just he just kind of just shuffling a little bit and then he pauses and looks into the backfield and we're able to take advantage for a huge play over the top as you can see all right another formation we can do this same concept out of is the is a trips formation so that's why we like any trips formations we can really do this out of that's what's so good about it we're going to come on the PA crossers play and it's going to be the same type of thing. We just want to have no routes here on the right side, though. So I'm going to just go and put a uh, circle on a little baby out route or even a flat like this. I'm going to go ahead and max protect. And I'm just going to streak triangle like that. And you'll see, once again, Derwin James, a strong safety, he's going to just kind of, kind of dumb out. And we're going to be able to hit that post uh, over the middle, over the top right here for a huge play. Once again, to Tyrell Williams all the way to the end zone. So um, you can, it's another universal concept like I broke down in the cover three bomb. It's the same type of thing here. Universal concept that you can apply to pretty much any uh, formation and play as long as you have the right stuff. So I'm talking a trip set where there's uh, no receivers on the opposite side of the field. And then you just got to know the coverages that you're facing. So as you can see here, this safety is uh, covering the streak. As you know, that's why we have the streak out there. And then for some reason, the deep half just, 
um, just doesn't react. And we call it the deep half glitch, whatever you want to call it, the cover two bomb, but he just kind of sits in the middle of the field. And boom, we're able to take advantage. And Tyrell Williams, probably one of the easiest touchdowns you can ever get. So mixing in this in a few times a game. And now we have a we have a beater versus cover three and cover two over the top for a big one play touchdown. So mixing these things in can be a huge advantage to your offense in any type of game. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Comment down below your thoughts. What other plays, formations you want to see me break down? We got so much more content on the way. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out the coaching sessions, ebook on the way. Until next time, your boy T Davis is out.